What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Today, we're exploring how to set up quality control points, or QCPs. This is to maintain consistency and excellence in every product produced. And specifically, we're going to take a look at how Stealthy Wood ensures the highest quality in its production process using QCPs. Quality control points are used to automatically trigger quality checks at key moments in your workflow, like manufacturing, receiving, or even deliveries. And let's say you buy a brand new desk, but when it arrives, there's a huge scratch on the surface or one of the legs is loose. That kind of issue not only disappoints the customer, but it costs money, time, and even your reputation. That's exactly what quality control points are designed to prevent. By building checks into the production process, like inspecting the desk surface at the end of the manufacturing process, you can identify issues right away and fix them before they reach the customer. That being said, let's get started. This is the Quality App Dashboard. Here you'll find all the tools needed to manage quality checks, alerts, and control points. If we go to the top and click Quality Control followed by Control Points, we'll see a few QCPs that we have set up. And we also have some of them set up for our executive desk. One of them is to inspect the quality of the surface. And that's this one right here. So let's go ahead and click into it to learn more. This QCP is connected to our executive desk product and the manufacturing operation step. Over here in the type section, we can see this is pass fail. And that means when it's time to run the check, the employee will need to decide if the product has passed or failed based on the criteria here down below. So in the instructions tab, we have some details about what constitutes passing or failing. And down at the bottom, we have the most important lines. Number four being fail to check if any damage, discoloration, or imperfections are visible under lighting. And then following that, we're going to pass this if the surface meets visual and tactile quality standards. These instructions appear to employees when they are performing the check so they know exactly what to do. Now, let's set up a new quality control point. To do that, I'm just going to click new in the upper left hand corner here. And we're just going to title this surface photo. calling it surface photo because after employees pass the previous check, I want them to upload proof that the product was in perfect condition before it left our warehouse. So down below that here in the product field, I'm just going to select our executive desk product. You can also choose a product category for this QCP, which can be useful in certain scenarios. For example, if we're setting up a QCP under all products within the category office furniture, we might go ahead and add instructions to verify that storage and staging areas are kept at a certain temperature. This makes sense at a category level as it doesn't apply to one specific product. However, for this tutorial, we're only creating a QCP that applies to this specific product. So we're going to leave this category field blank. Under operations here, I'm going to select manufacturing as this will be completed during the manufacturing process. And then for type over here on the right, I'm going to change this from pass fail to take a picture. And one last thing in the instructions tab, I'm just going to go ahead and paste some instructions that I want my employees to follow. And remember, this information is displayed to the employee during the quality check. So it's extremely important that this is all detailed. One last thing, since we have multiple QCPs for this product, they will run in order that they appear on the previous page. So if we select the breadcrumbs for control points, we'll notice that the surface visual defect inspection will come before the surface photo inspection. However, if I did want to change the order of this, I would just hold this icon here and drag and drop it to rearrange the steps. However, I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Now let's see these checks in action. I'm going to head over to the manufacturing application, select operations at the top, followed by manufacturing orders. And here I'm just going to select new in the upper left hand corner and choose our executive desk as the product to manufacture. Now all I have to do is click confirm and I'll also verify the quantity that we're producing here by changing zero to one. And now I'm just going to click produce all. Whoa. We're getting this error because we didn't run the quality checks. So let's make sure we do that before we start building. I'm just going to click close here. And this time I'm going to click this quality checks button here at the top. First up, we have our visual check. After giving the desk a 
thorough examination. I'm going to say everything looks good and I will pass this. However, before I check this as pass, I'm just going to write a quick little note here and just say no visible defects. And then click pass. Moving on, we have our visual inspection and I've taken a look at the desk and everything looks good. So I just need to upload a picture and I could do that by clicking this pencil icon right here. Then I'll just have to download my image just like so and upload it to the computer. And then here I can also write any additional notes and I'll say confirmed, no defects. Then I'll click validate. Once those are all done, I can see the font here in the quality check smart button has now turned green and there's a check mark next to it indicating approval. Now, if I click produce all, there's no error and my desk is finished and ready to be sent to the customer. Quality control points help catch issues early in the manufacturing process, ensuring consistent product quality and reducing waste. By configuring QCPs in the quality application, Stealthy Wood can standardize inspections, prevent costly defects, and improve efficiency in its manufacturing process. Be sure to check out our other tutorials on our quality app. But until next time, I'll see you later, O'Doers.